Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video from Buried One. In today's video we're going to be showing you the 1180s new specs, new price and it's very awesome mining performance. Okay so what I've done is I took the previous calculation of every single graphics card that we did before for Ethereum mining and we redone it on the 1180 and we came to a really nice result but there's gonna be one more thing that I need to cover here because there is a little change in the game that could potentially be even better at mining or it could be just the same as my calculation. The news is that there is a manufacturer for the GDDR6 memory that is going to be inside the GTX series. So this memory is benchmarked at 16 gigabytes per second. So I ran calculations for that, you will see that in a minute, but we also have seen that they re-benchmarked their memory modules and they came to 20 gigabytes per second. So this is an increase of 25% in performance on their memory. So consider that there's gonna be, gonna be an eight gigabyte version and a 16 gigabyte version, but 24 and above is gonna be pretty rare. So what are we gonna do here is gonna show you the actual calculations that we've done for the GTX 1180 and we came to a really nice result of about 64 mega ashes per second on the 1180 if it's gonna be a 16 gigabyte per second version on the memory. If it's gonna be a 20 gigabyte version, it's gonna be 80 mega ashes per second. So this is really the maximum hash rate you could create on this graphics cards if it has 20 gigabytes per second. So I grab this information and there's one more thing I need to cover in just a second. So we grab this information and put it inside our return of rig investment calculator on our website and I'll put a link in the description below if you haven't seen that or the actual video where I announced it but we introduced it into there and we came to some really stunning results. So one more really important thing I said I was going to mention is the price of the GTX 1180. It's gonna be about $750 at start. So that is gonna be really interesting because I expected it to be $1,000, but $750 is gonna be way more better for return of investment. So I'm gonna show you the results here and it was really phenomenal. So if you consider that these graphics cards are $750 and we take the average mining base that is suitable for running 200 watts per graphics cards, we came to a 400 to 300 day return of investment on these mining rigs for Ethereum. And you might think that is really long. Actually, that is really short. I'm gonna give you an example. The rest of the mining rigs are an average of 600 or 700 days at this very moment with these Ethereum prices. Of course, they will go up really soon, but this means that these mining rig cards are gonna be way better. So the GTX 1180 cards are gonna shine out. They have a great potential at mining. That's gonna be really bad because these are going to be very limited. So what does this mean? There's gonna be a shortage on the 1180, the prices will go up, the return of investment will eventually turn out to be the same as the previous generation. The only big difference is that these graphics cards are gonna be way more efficient at mining Ethereum than the previous generation. So people that have countries with really high electricity will more likely go for 1180s, but people that really don't care about electricity will definitely go for the previous generation and buy them as cheap as they can. So actually, that is all we know and I wanted to share that with you guys. So I hope you all enjoyed this video today and see you guys in the next one.